ALEC83. <laughs> Thank you for your video response. I watched yours, both of them, and I was writing down stuff as I was watching. It's like I got to touch on this, this, and I figured I could write, you know, a text response, but this is just easier. So, um, one, your big chat that you were talking about that you didn't want to get, but you was considering, I'm on the same boat. I'm like, my hair, I have a, it's just a mess right now. I didn't have time. I just had to get up and leave the class, but I just put a scarf on it. But underneath right here is so thick. My roots are so thick and my ends are kind of thin. So, I, I'm, uh, it's just frustrating. Like, I have all this thick hair and when it's wet, it looks ridiculous. And... I'm considering the big chop, but not really. I'm not big on my length, but I don't know how I'd be able to manage it short. I have a thing. I need to be able to pull my hair back and tie it up. and I don't know. So I think I'm just going to ride it out as long as I can and see where we go. Um, oh, you were saying how the back of your hair is really, really curly. So is mine. I don't, I'm don't. i not sure. If, I guess that's a common thing, but mine gets really really tight curls like right in the back and you know in the front it's all it's it's just looser and I don't know if that's because back here if this is all my natural hair if the perm completely grew out in the back and not in the front I know what the story is but I know it's really really tight back here and I gotta put extra um product on it so that it doesn't you know cause otherwise it's like this and then I have my hair from back here hanging down and it just looks stupid diffusing <laughs> now I know you said stay strong because I wasn't using heat but I actually went home this weekend and I have a diffuser at home because I'm in school right now and I diffused my hair and I loved it I miss it so much I think I'm gonna have to buy a diffuser though anyway just for the winter because I don't want to walk around with my hair wet outside in the cold and then your texture you showed your hair wet I don't think me and you had the same texture. My hair is a lot thicker. My hair relaxed looks closer to your natural texture than um your our natural textures combined. I mean, we really can't see my natural texture and like you said, the transition stage where your hair kinda meets, you know, your natural meets your relaxed hair, they don't get along too well. So maybe this isn't really even what it will really look like, but I think my hair is a lot thicker than yours. Um, I don't know if we have the same curl pattern or not yet. I think mine might be tighter, but we'll see, right? We'll see. Um, and all the products. <laughs> you had me dying with all the products. Um, I don't use gel. Gel tends to weigh my hair down. And being that I have to work a little bit to get the curls in my relaxed hair, I, um, you know, gel just kind of... It weighs on your hair and then it straightens out the curl. So what I use sometimes is this mousse. It's a I don't even know if it's a name brand, but they sell it at Rite Aid, and it's just this conditioner three-in-one extra hold mousse. And it says it volumizes, conditions, and protects. Well, it doesn't have alcohol, so that's why I use it. I try to stay away from alcohol as much as I can. Um, what else? What else? Infusion 23. I do use that sometimes very good stuff mostly when I go home I don't really bring it to school and then all the Garnier Fructis products I have used a lot of the ones you were showing me they actually used to have this putty one I uh, forgot what it was called they don't make it anymore they sell something similar but it's not the same it used to be really good for curls too but I don't know why they stopped selling that and then you were showing me the um the oil that you use I actually tried last week and I probably should have made a video on it I will um of just regular olive oil I've been seeing a lot in the videos about regular olive oil and my my grandmother my black grandmother she said to use olive oil just regular olive oil every now and then um, I heated up heated it up in a container and then I put it all throughout my hair and it made it really really soft it was nice so maybe I'll make a video on that but it doesn't smell too good so make sure you wash it out well and I think that's it. If I forgot anything, then I'll just put it in a text message later. But um, that's about it. Thank you so much. Your hair is beautiful. The cut that they did, it looks great. I love it. I want to see it dry, though. So post a video with your hair dried and with the product in and whatever. So that's about it. Talk to you later, girl.